Okay, so I've cleaned it. Welcome, by the way. Um, I'm Gabriel from Motivated Painters, if you didn't know me. Uh, this is a quick little video I want to show you guys. I mixed two to one T490 with 494 water reducer. I'm using PPG and Virobase, all right? Now I'm gonna put a consistent coat, consistent coat, even, not like clear coat, but maybe like the second coat of base, okay? Just gonna put it over the whole job. Obviously here, I'm gonna keep it here. And this is gonna help you with sand piling for those of you who are, uh, you know, are, are struggling with sand piling, but I'm gonna give you some more tips on how to spray to avoid sand piling. Okay, so as you can see, it's even. It's not like clear coat, it's even, right? It's not super, super, super wet, but you do wanna create an even layer, a nice layer over the substrate, whatever you're painting, okay? And then, obviously you don't, obviously you don't wanna to put too much there, but now we have that even layer. So the cool thing about this is going to seal this nicely, and it's going to allow me to put on the first coat of base relatively heavy, which is a good thing, all right? Because uh, then you can put less base, but more base at the same time. So instead of putting like four coats and going all over the place, you can put two coats and maybe another coat and then a control coat. But I, I wanted to show you this way because so, so I know some guys have problems with, uh, with sand piling. But I think it has mostly to do with the direction of where you're spraying. Uh, to put this on, I use the Tecna clear coat. And uh, this is a 1.3 HV30. I like this gun. I made a review on that gun a while ago and it was really nice, I liked it. Just trying out the HV cap now. So this usually flashes off fairly quickly. That's flashed off already and it's ready to go. You don't wanna put it on wet because then it might distort the metallics. But as soon as this flashes off, then you're good, right? Um, as soon as you see the kind of like it goes opaque, then you can go ahead and put uh, your base on top of that. So there's the, there's the primer spot there. And I'm going to be spraying this way, right? Because I don't want any overspray over there. So I have, I'm using my HDE, um, HDE uh, base 1.3 at 25 PSI. we go so now we get nice uh, full coverage right away because of that because of that uh, um, the wet bed that we put on now we're just gonna go ahead and put this on this is a repair bumper that was a brand new fender that was sealed already I'm going to do my half moon blend, uh, that we call it. Awesome. So now I still got some base in here. Less than half. I'm going to put T490 and I'm going to over reduce it as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put some T490. So what I basically do is whatever I have in there, whatever I have left in the cup, okay, I'll just double it with the T490. And then I'll add some reducer. In this case, I added 100 grams, 100 grams of reducer. I understand it's, it's hard to gauge what I'm doing, but you have to figure this out on your own and try different things because my climate is different than yours, right? So just keep that in mind. 
whatever I do is what's working for me, right? So I encourage you guys to try your own things with it, right? And see what works for, for, for you, right? And then you can comment below and help someone that has your same climate or your same situation. Alright, looking good so far, it's gonna need another coat. And uh, I'm gonna give this a really good tack. Like really, really, really good tack. If your base is dry, don't be scared. Don't be as scared. Don't be scared to tack it. If your base is dry, right? If you have your base dry enough, you should be okay. If any if it's okay to tack, then it's okay to put another coat. So, but don't be afraid to push down a little bit to get whatever is there away from the panel. Because you don't want that stuff laying around, right? So there you go. We're gonna do just one more and we're going to put it all towards one direction. Just like that. Now, if you don't do this evenly, you might get streaks. So that's what I'm saying. You can push down, all right? You can push down a little bit and then make sure that you're doing the whole panel. I'm not gonna bother doing the hood because the hood, I basically cover the whole thing. So I'm not going to. I'm just gonna do a little bit here where the, the blend is gonna be. All right? So as you can see here, I'm just going over the, the line with the tack cloth, right? So I'm not distorting anything here. Just like that. So then that's good. I'm gonna put another coat on, see how it looks like, see if we're ready for clear. That code with the uh, T490 and an extra reducer even things out nicely. Now I'm gonna do a double control coat. This color is a nightmare. Uh, just the way that it lays down is super difficult. So I thought I'd make this video with this color and uh, hopefully show you guys something. Eighteen PSI. and even, steady, 
and then blend looks great. I'm happy with that. All right, here we go. Ready for clear. see looks great no metallic standing up or anything like that i'm gonna put a little blender up there check out the door i'm happy with it i'm very happy with it very 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 little polishing it's gonna be needed on this one You guys seen this? Check this out. The can thing. Awesome. Prep is everything. Prep is everything on those plants. You know, we got a little bit of 3000 there and uh, works out great. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Many, 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 many more videos coming. This is a different setting. If you like it or not, don't worry, there'll be other videos. And uh, there's a whole playlist on silvers that might help you a lot. And uh, this will be one of the videos that I'm gonna add to this playlist. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, just so you know, I love you and I appreciate you and I'm glad that you're here. All right, I gotta keep going. Check it out. Got another job there ready for paint. Another one ready for paint. And I got another one in there ready for paint. And at the same time, I'm painting this white Range Rover.